Hello traders, as many of you guys know, I am a complete lover of sentiment. I love to find out what a lot of people uh, think about a certain cryptocurrency and then try to do the opposite. So that's what we're gonna be looking at today. And I believe that getting a lot of different opinions about where people think the price will go is kind of like a lot of, you know, maybe poker players showing their hands, <laughs> which maybe that's the best analogy I can get. But here it is, it's from CoinMarketCap. This was opened up a few days ago, and this is what we're talking about today. Expectations and what reality typically brings to those expectations. So the first coin that we are gonna look at, everyone's favorite coin, Bitcoin. So these are some of the expectations that people have. I know that this isn't like a lot of people weighing in, but it is, I think, a significant amount. And you have to put an estimate in. You have to have an account, you, then you have to put an estimate in in order for you to view these. Uh, so that's why I put in 50,000. So basically what this is saying is traders on average, uh, 2,857 people believe that Bitcoin will be about $42,000 um, by the time of May 31st. Now, typically, when, when I think that many people are overly bullish, that makes me more bearish or less bullish at least. Um, but what I really like to look at is the distribution of the estimates. That's down here. Basically, what this is saying is what traders believe is going to happen, um, you know, from this month going on. And I found this interesting, but what I found really interesting is. I looked at coins that had fallen by like 50% in, in one day, and what I found is people still estimated that they were gonna be very, very bullish. So when you're looking at this, the one thing I'm gonna recommend before you dive in and start looking at this kind of sentiment is to understand that most predictions are bullish. Uh, very few predictions will be bearish, and if there are predictions that are very, very bearish, that actually might even make me quite, quite bullish. So here's an example of a coin, uh, a very popular coin that fell a lot recently. If I show you guys the price, just to show you, uh, let's go to overview. Yeah, um, in the past seven days, it's it's down it's down pretty big. I think it's down more than most cryptocurrencies. You know, in one week we went from about 56 to a low of like 20. So almost like it's fallen by two thirds. Despite that, look what estimates are. So if you look at the average, people believe that on May 31st, which is in six days, that Solana is gonna rise 69% uh, rise on average, median gonna rise about 67%. But what I find very, very interesting is this kind of weird skewed graph where people are very, very bullish on, uh, so this is median, not uh, average. People are very, very bullish on uh, Solana in May, you know, as you can see, and then people are like less bullish uh, in Solana and Jude. I don't really know why that is, but what I what I do think is really happening is that the majority of um, estimates are for June, as you can see here. So I would just give this one more weight. But even in June, this I think is, is a bit interesting. Uh, you know, people expect that it's gonna rise by 50%, you know, by uh, June, June, June 30th. These people might not be wrong, but what I'm saying is this actually has pretty wide ramifications about you know, how you position yourself. Because what I think, I mean, this is so cliche to say guys, and but this is the reason why I'm doing this video. It's really easy to fall into the herd mentality when you're looking at crypto. You go on Twitter, you go on Reddit, you, you just look at prices. And it seems like a lot of people are just positioned the same way with a lot of people uh, who are long, who are just hoping that the market rises and they're not hedged. And I think that if you wanna be part of the 1% of traders who are just, you know, leagues above everyone else, I think you've got to find a way to to take trades when no one else wants to take them, such as, you know, I'm not saying short Solana, but um, perhaps, I don't know, find some way to hedge your bullish exposure because just being naked long, I, I mean, there are a lot of people who are crazy, you know, bullish on this. So that is one thing to keep in mind. Now, uh, the uh, CEO of Barstool has recently endorsed SafeMoon and let's go look at the expectations uh, accordingly. So people believe that it will rise by about 62%, what's the median, 62% um, in like six days, which I don't think is gonna happen, but you know, crazier things have happened. But if you look at SafeMoon, a lot of people think it's gonna really rise significantly, which makes me think that it, it, it probably um, won't rise. So the way that I've been doing this, if to show you guys really the process is I go to cryptocurrencies, I really like to look at, hey, what coins have really risen? What coins have really fallen, you know? Like uh, this one. So if we look at Holo, 
Let's go to price estimates. Let's go see. So after a 20% rise in 24 hours, what do people think is going to happen? I'm going to put an arbitrary number like uh, there. And let's go see. That's interesting. So, whoa, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. I've actually, I haven't researched this one yet, but this is perfect for the video. Uh, what I'm seeing is a complete lack of bullishness. What? Only plus 8% by June 30th. And people don't seem to be bullish at all on Holo. I know this isn't a lot of people, but this is not bullish. I mean, these are people who are just saying like, is there a, oh, there isn't a, um, a graph of it. But people are not bullish on Holo, which actually makes me, in some crazy world, feel bullish on, on Holo and then bearish on Solana um, because it's just doing the opposite of what everyone else is doing. By the way, if you are looking to get uh, bearish exposure on Solana, I'm not advocating for you to do that. Uh, you can go to HXRO. HXRO is a plat. I'm not endorsing them. I don't even really know them that well. I've just used their platform and I enjoy it. But HXRO is a platform where you can basically take uh, leveraged, uh, uh, in a way, binary trades on different coins, including Solana. So if you want, simple strategy is if you are moderately bullish on Solana but think that people are crazy, what you could do is buy Solana. And then um, buy no contracts for the price of Solana, right, uh, Solana uh, uh, rising higher. And if you use HXRO, I think you'll know what I'm talking about with, um, with that. And that way you could hedge your bullishness and continue to earn basically a premium. So I think that would be good. Hmm. So why are people so bearish on Holo? People are just crazy bearish. So looking at this chart of the last seven days, let's go see what's going on. Yeah, I, I don't know why people are so bearish on this. Um, it's just really funny how cryptocurrencies that are like rising, people are like, oh, it's, it's got to fall. Then cryptocurrencies that are falling, people are like, oh, it's destined to rise. And that's the kind of thing you're seeing with these expectations with things like this. Plus 69% in six days, come on. That's pretty unlikely to happen unless Bitcoin really rallies above uh, at least, I'd say, low 40 uh, thousandths. But this, to me, looks far more bullish than, than Solana. And people just don't seem to be that, um, I'll put good on that. People just don't seem to really be that, uh, that bullish on it. If we go to median estimates, I mean, it's even bearish. <laughs> people expect bearishness. So this is something that I think is giving us extraordinary power. And it's also a very simple way for you to check how people feel about cryptocurrencies for free. So I think that, um, this is something you should not neglect. And I really think that before you buy a cryptocurrency, go see how positive or, or negative sentiment has been on that crypto. If a coin is constantly falling, but people are just like endlessly bullish and put crazy targets out, that to me is a sign of, um, what's it called? Uh, delusion. So, <laughs> or people just hodling uh, coins at prices that are three times higher than what they are now. So keep that in mind. Do not succumb to groupthink. I know it's easier said than done. But put the work in, find out how people are feeling, and then try to position yourselves ahead of those people um, by doing this. And uh, with that, happy trading and go be successful.